Hi here, Finn's here. I'm back for another video, and it's the day after um, the first semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2019, and what a semi-final it was. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was quite a show. Um, it was a good start, I think. I mean, everybody said it was like the weaker semi-final too, but it was still as strong. It was just hard to predict um, the final 10 in the end. Um, so in this video I'm going to do a little review of who I think of the 10 qualified, 10 countries that did qualify to the final and the 7 that didn't. Uh, so first off, the 10, the 10 countries that did qualify last night were Greece, Belarus, Serbia, Cyprus, Estonia, the Czech Republic, Australia, Iceland, San Marino, and Slovenia. Um, that means the seven countries that didn't qualify to the final were Montenegro, Poland, uh, Finland, Hungary, uh, Belgium, Georgia, and Portugal. Uh, so let's, I'm going to quickly go through the ten countries that did make it semi-final. Sorry, is my camera a bit wobbly? I don't know why. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Might be just as bad. I don't know. Anyway, um, so the ten countries that did go through. Greece got through. I was happy for that. I mean, that was obvious to me that was going to go through. Very happy for Katarina. Um, Belarus made it. I did not predict that, but I'm very happy for Xena to qualify. I thought it was a Polish pop song, and um, yeah, it was really good, um, you know. And a lot of people were doubting her to qualify, um, even me, um, but I'm happy she did because, you know, I because I really thought Cyprus would cancel out Belarus, but no, they both made it. I was happy for Xena, you know. Are you gonna like it? It's a catchy song and I was really happy it qualified. So well done to Zena and Belarus. Don't usually qualify Belarus, so I'm, I'm happy they did tonight, um, last night. Um, uh, who else? Uh, who came next? Uh, Serbia! Oh, I'm happy for um, uh, Nirvana. Um, didn't qualify in 2013, but finally getting her moment to perform in a grand final this year. I'm really happy for her. Deserves to go through. I'm just really happy, and I think she's better style <laughs> than she wore in 2013. She's not going to win Barbara Drex this year, so that's nice to see. Um, Cyprus made it. Obviously, for me, that, that I think Cyprus that was always going to qualify, you know. Um, but it was a great opening to the show. Um, yeah, but worried on Cyprus. Estonia made it. That's another one I did not predict to be in the final. Um, I knew f both Finland and Estonia weren't both going to qualify. I thought Finland might because they had more of a message behind the song. But I, but Estonia made it instead, which I'm happy about. I just didn't predict it to go through. Um, but yes, he did make it. I'm very happy for Victor Crone making it from Estonia. I thought, yeah, it was good. Um, probably not the best vocals in the competition, but I'm happy it got through, so well done to Estonia. Uh, the Czech Republic made it. Uh, oh, by the way, Estonia making it means I was really worried um, we were going to have a Baltic wipeout if Estonia wasn't going to make it. But they did, so we're not going to have a Baltic wipeout this year. Uh, Czech Republic made it. I was really happy for Lake Mawawi from the Czech Republic. Oh, I was really hoping that we took qualify, and they did. Um, I was really pleased, really happy. Um, yeah, I was really, really happy. I, though that was the country I was really hoping to qualify, and they did. So, second year in a row for the Czech. That's good for them. Um, very, very happy for them. They really deserve that um, to go through. Who else? Do, do, do. Oh, Australia, Australia. That was always going to go through. Um, that was out of the world. That was the Australian performance just 
out of the world, out of this world, I should say. It was amazing. That might have just won the semi-final way. I think it's up there with Greece, Iceland, and the Australia. Cyprus, maybe not, but... Cyprus might have been top five. Um, but I think Australia got a good chance of winning. Um, it's just, who has got a good chance of winning the whole thing, really? Um, that's the question. So, yeah. Um, they made it. Uh, Iceland made it. First time in five years they qualified to the final, so well done, Hatari. I mean, I just love their reaction, just them, when they found out that they were through, it's just like, thank you. Like, they just, <laughs> just didn't care. Um, yeah, they were great. I mean, they, they had to go through. We couldn't have left them behind in the semi-final. Um, they were great. I, I was really happy they qualified. Um, I think uh, the biggest shock of all, San Marino qualifying for the second time ever. I mean, Wojan Serhat, I think, he probably qualified because he was closing the show and because he was Serhat. Um, and it was a catchy song to say, na na na. I mean, when, I, I mean, I reacted to when the San Marino song first came out. Um, I was, I liked that, but I, I just wasn't sure it was going to qualify because we had no Italy voting, uh, we don't have, didn't have Azerbaijan voting, uh, we didn't have Germany voting because, you know, Stoho is Turkish and, you know, a big Turkish diaspora is in Germany and they didn't vote. So I was really thought the, the odds were against him as well and he qualified. Um, so yes, um, but I, I think I'm happy for Sir Hack qualifying. I feel happy for San Marino. They don't usually qualify. I mean, let's just get a, give a moment for San Marino qualifying for only the second time ever. Who knows? It might be their best result ever in the competition. It's not a hard score to beat, but I don't know. It. I I really thought the juries were going to drag down San Marino. They probably did, but. I think the televotes probably help them out, so yes. Um, it's going to be interesting where they're going to place. I don't think it's going to be highly in the final, but at least they're in the final, so well done, Sir Hat. Um, yes. And Slovenia made it. I think Slovenia, uh, as the results were going on uh, halfway through, I was thinking, oh, Slovenia, uh, I was thinking Slovenia might be out, but they made it. I'm happy for them too. Uh, for me, I, I have to think, I have to say, it's not my favourite song in the competition, and I don't think I'll ever like it really. It's not really my type of music. Um, but I'm happy for them, for them qualifying. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not my, f I, I don't think I'll ever like the song, but. I was happy, I predicted it to go through, happy for them. I mean, they looked so ch chillaxed in that green room. They wasn't intense or poised or um, nervous about anything. They were so relaxed. It was, uh, they're so great together. Um, but yeah, those were the ten countries that did qualify. The seven. Um, Montenegro, Finland, Poland, Hungary, uh, Belgium, Georgia and Portugal. I have to say, I was really shocked Portugal did not make the final. Um, I thought that was going through. I did say in my um, reaction, it, the results, which you can watch on another video of mine, I thought they were going to go through. I said it was shocking horror. Well, maybe not. It wasn't such shocking horror. Um, but I really thought, this is art. I really thought it was... Maybe it was too out there. I, I just thought Conan Osiris was great. I thought he was going to qualify for Portugal. But no, I thought I thought after Salvador Savali won for Portugal in 2017, it was going to put like Portugal on the map of Eurovision. Like Austria did, like when Conchita first won for Austria. They had terrible track record for qualifying to the final. 
But when Conchita won, it made like Austria powerhouse. And uh, when 2016, when Zoe uh, represented Austria, they've qualified ever since. And I thought, really, Conan is going to do that for Portugal, but no, I think. Yeah, I can see why now they didn't qualify, mainly because of the staging, you know, he was wearing green, it was green and red, the LED was red, like the Portuguese flag. I think it was just a little too dark, um, and he was in the mix of great songs in between, you know, he had um, Australia, Iceland, Estonia, and then after he had Greece and San Marino. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think... I felt sorry for Conan Osiris. I really thought he was going to go through, so I feel sad for the Portuguese. And they were a great host country last year, so I was sad not to see them in the final this year. Um, so we're not going back to Lisbon next year, unfortunately. Um, others didn't make it. Oh, I'm sorry for Belgium. I felt sorry for Elliot. Um, I thought Belgium were going to qualify. Mainly because I thought young girls would like, uh, young teenage girls would like vote for him, thinking it was adorable, thinking it was cute. Um, but I think the problem was the staging. It's been like deja vu. Yeah, the staging wasn't great. I think maybe the drums didn't work. I think the smoke. Mm -mm. I think what he was wearing wasn't great. Uh, yeah, it's been like deja vu for Belgium because last year. The bell, the staging let them down with Senate, and we thought they were going to qualify, and they didn't. Um, so it's second year in a row. They need, they need something good to stage Belgium now, because two years in a row. What happened to you, Belgium? You know, you had great staging in twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen and maybe twenty seventeen, but now you were becoming a new powerhouse, and now. You, Back struggling to make the final. I it's they always it's like the Macedonian effect, you know, or former Yugoslavic Republic or Mas, former Yugoslavic Republic slash North Macedonia effect, where they have good quality songs, but the staging is not their strongest point. Finland didn't make it. I I thought it would because name of Darude behind it, but I can see why people didn't want it go through. I think the staging they should have kept the box. You know, most of these performances that didn't qualify were down to staging. You know, Montenegro were let down by staging, Finland were let down by staging. Poland, mm, yes and no, the staging wasn't... Mm. Uh, Hungary, kind of let down by staging. Belgium were let down by staging. Portugal were let by staging. It was really, I mean, Georgia that had good staging and didn't qualify. Um, yeah. I felt sorry for Finland though, because you know, because one of her biggest names, Tarud from Finland, um, representing Finland at Eurovision and didn't qualify to the final. Um, I felt sorry for Finland, because um, who can they send now? I felt sorry, uh, but they should have kept the box, I think. I think, yeah. Montenegro didn't qualify, no surprise. I mean, it was a guilty pleasure of mine, but <laughs> the staging, I have to be honest, even I like the song, but it was a complete mess. Georgia didn't qualify, not a surprise. I think not many people, um, I don't think it was a mainstream sound. Poland didn't make it for a second year in a row. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe it was just not the type of music to listen, people to listen to. Hungary didn't make it for the first time in a decade, and by returnee, uh, Hungary, usually a strong powerhouse um, at Eurovision, but did not make the final. I think maybe the song was just not impactful enough, um, but yeah, Hungary is out, and I actually predicted, I said, if there ever is a year Hungary did not make the final, it would be this year, and I got it right. Anyway. That's my review of semi-final one. Semi-final two, just kill me now. <laughs> We're gonna lose somebody great, I know it. Uh, comment down below what you thought of the semi-final one results last night, and you can like and subscribe to this video as well. Thank you so much for watching, shalom and goodbye.